Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and my aim is to entertain, educate and motivate anyone who is looking to start their own passive income journey. In today's video I'm going to show you how I set up my Etsy store and how I linked it with a print-on-demand website called Printified who I will be using to produce and deliver my products. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the Etsy website and to register your brand new shop. But before you go, you can make a saving straight away by using someone's referral link. Now this referral link will enable you to save 20 cents each time you register or upload a new design. It costs 20 cents to list your designs and by using a referral link, you'll save by getting 40 free listings and the person whose link you use, they will also get 40 free listings. So, if you'd like to make a saving straight away, please consider using my referral link in the description below. Um, I did the same thing. I went to a website, or I was watching a YouTube video by a woman called Anne, and I decided that her video was very valuable, and I used her referral link to get my free 40 listings. And so she was able to get the same too. So once you click on my referral link, you will go and start to register for your brand new shop. You can enter your email address, first name and create a password or you can sign up using your Facebook, Google or Apple account details. On the shop preference page you will set up your shop language, the shop country and the shop currency. I'm in London, England so I've set my shop language to English I've set the shop country to the United Kingdom and the shop currency to the British pound. Then uh, you get to choose which sentence best describes you. I chose the third option, which is I sell part-time and that's how I like it. Once you're happy, click save and continue. And then it's time to choose your name for your shop. Type in the name you've chosen for your shop and click Availability. If your choice isn't available, Etsy will provide you with some alternatives, uh, options that add extra words to what you've written or a completely alternative version. My first choice wasn't available and one of the Etsy suggestions said that I should add the word store to the end of the name. That's what I opted for. You could choose to add something like that or the word shop to your choice if what you wanted isn't available. When your store name is available, a little yellow box with a tick will appear. Then you can save and continue. Stock your shop. The next page is where you can add your designs and upload your products. Now this is what you would do if you were producing your products from home and sending them from home. But as I am using a print-on-demand store, I actually need to set up that website and link it to my Etsy store. And so that's what I'll show you in my next video. I hope that this short video has shown you how easy it is to set up your own Etsy store. And the great thing is, is that you can set it up completely free. If you found this video helpful, please tap the like button and think about subscribing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.